uh, as I was, you know, uh, a little ill in the tummy, uh huh. I watched the movies. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> right? All right. I watched Quantum Mania, Ant Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. Okay. What did you think of Modoc? <laughs> So funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> People hate that. They're like, oh, oh my, my God, Marvel's cheaping out and they're not doing good CGI. And look at this Modoc. Oh, my God. I'm like, Modoc always looked like an idiot like he that. He did. Yeah, that was great. I loved it. I was yeah. like, oh, my God, Modoc. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, when they said the name out, I was like, like the full name, not the acronym. I was like, okay, yeah. And then they they did the acronym. I was like, oh, my God. It's Modoc. It's Modoc. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he looked funny. Yeah. I found that to be great. I thought it was a good movie. I I enjoyed it. I haven't watched it. I right. I've seen some clips about stuff or whatever on TikTok or whatever. And there was <laughs> a theory about how the um, soul gems are in the quantum universe because there's like five dudes that are in the colors of all the soul gems, like little minions of Modok or something like that. There's oh, like yeah. a red guy and a blue guy and a yellow guy and a green guy. And they're like, oh, that's like the soul gems. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks for that TikTok. <laughs> uh, I didn't put that together. I mean, they were they were there. They were in the colors for sure. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I also watched the... Uh, yeah, Quantum Mania was good. I like the... Oh, God. What was the spoiler for the next one at the end? I can't remember. Oh, like the little yeah. the after credits scene? Yeah. I was like, hey, cool. Like a character or... Uh, I don't know now. I can't remember. Jesus. I thought it was cool, but I just don't remember. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also watched the new Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's got to be terrible. It's awful. Yeah. <laughs> I figured as much. The amount of fatalities and flawless victories that were said in that game, that movie. Really? Oh, my God. It was it was being way too self-referential. Oh, that's just dumb. <laughs> like, you can say get over here one time and that's all you got to say. That's all he said. He only said it once. Yeah, but that's the only thing they can say. No, they said flawless victory and no, and, uh, no, no. I beat him <laughs> with a flawless victory. <laughs> Was oh, there any toasties going on? <laughs> yeah, actually, no. <laughs> Someone said toasty. Nobody said toasty, uh, but but uh, uh, Scorpion does his flame. Does that flame thing? But no one said finisher. toasty. No. Okay, well then that that's a, that's one point on their side then. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was really bad. It was interesting too because I was like. Who are these characters? <laughs> oh, were they more modern Mortal Kombat characters? No, no, wait. They weren't even Mortal Kombat characters. No, they were more modern ones. Oh, were they? So, Sony Blade is in there, Jax, mm-hmm. Liu Kang, and then it's like, who are the... Uh, oh, and Kano. What about Raiden? Goro. Raiden. Well, of course, Raiden. Okay. He has to be in there. And of course, Sub-Zero Shum Scorpion. Zao, Sub-Zero Scorpion. And then the other ones, I was like, who are these people? Uh, was General, it Ermac? General Zhao? Like, who the hell is this guy? Ermac? Ermac? No. <laughs> no. Noob Cybot? No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. That's too bad. Oh, well, that's okay. It was super cheesy. And I remember watching the trailer and being like, fuck, this looks really good. And then I was like, wait a minute. The trailer's too good. <laughs> the movie's got to be really bad. Yeah, it was. It, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it. The, the first movie was way better. Oh, well, that's a classic. Yeah. And the soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Oh, my so God. So at the end. The the ending credits song is mm-hmm. a harken back to the oh, yeah. to the original, and I was like, oh, thank God they actually did something good. Nice, <laughs> that's good then. Yeah, yeah. Mortal Kombat. Does someone do that? Like <laughs> no. yell at the sky? Mortal <laughs> no. Kombat. But it's got like the old school '90s synth rave stabs in it, and it's great. Okay, that that's the only redeeming part of that movie. Really, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> uh, Ken Kano, he's okay. He's an Aussie guy. Yep, who's very. Uh, Did he have a robot eye? Uh, he gets it. Okay, that's apparently your inner power. That's what you get when you become a, oh. uh, a tournament fighter, selected oh by killing other uh, people. <laughs> they don't have to stick so close to the game, but like, <laughs> so what works in a game doesn't necessarily work in a movie. Yeah, definitely. Oh my god, <laughs> Johnny Cage. Uh, no, that's for part two. No, Johnny. No, There's no was... part two. Come on, dude. <laughs> Be real. They were like, uh, I, I don't know who the one guy is. Like the main character. I can't remember who he's the main not a real character. Is. is he? No. No. Okay. That's why. I'm like, who the hell is he this has a guy? dragon tattoo on his back or something? No, on his chest. Yeah. 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 I think they made him for the movie. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, why else wouldn't they use like Liu Kang or something like that? He was in there. Yeah, but he wasn't the main character. <laughs> of course, if they're going to do like a real character as the main character, they would do like a name, a known like character. Yeah. Not this guy they made up for the movie. Yeah. If you can't remember anything of his name or anything, that says it, it all. Like, it was like Paul Walker or something. Crap. Paul Walker was an actor, but <laughs> no, <laughs> but it, it was it was something generic like Paul that. is a character in Tekken, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Big hair, Paul. <laughs> yeah, exactly. AKA Johnny Cage. Yeah, yeah. No, they. He's like, I gotta go meet this other fighter for the next mm-hmm. tournament, and it shows a. He's gotta go to Hollywood. I'm like, okay, he's gonna go see Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. That's that's just it. He's just gonna go yeah. see Johnny Cage. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it, wasn't it has to very be good. It wasn't very good. No. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Something to watch anyways, right? Yeah. I mean, I was just sitting on the couch trying not to be in pain or poop myself. So Fair enough. That's a noble ambition. <laughs> so you didn't watch any other movies? Uh, no. Mm. Uh, just a lot of off-road stuff. Learning how to off-road better so that I can off-road like a champion. Very good. Yeah. That'll be good. Yeah. Well, I watched something. Did you? A movie. Oh? Called Renfield. Hello. This is Nicolas Cage's vampire movie. Oh. Then, with, um... Is it new? It's pretty new. Yeah? He's a vampire. Well, he's not a vampire. He's the vampire. He's Dracula. And he's got his little assistant's um, familiar named Renfield that's played by... I don't know what his name is. He's the guy from Mad Max, like uh, the crazy guy. Not Mad Max, but like one of the like disciples of. Uh huh. Do you know who the, I'm talking about? The British yeah. guy. He's like he was Beast in X Men. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know his name. Yeah, some yeah. British fuck. <laughs> Surprisingly yeah. good. Surprisingly yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> like Nicolas Cage is not a good actor. I know <sighs> people are like, he's good. But I'm like, him and Keanu Reeves could take a class together and learn a lot. <laughs> and like a lot of things. I know he won an Academy Award for Best Actor. But like, you know, sometimes errors are made. And that was an error because he's terrible. Um, but this movie was surprisingly good. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It was well thought out. Well directed. Well acted, more or less. Like, I don't know if Nicolas Cage was on, like, they had him on Reigns or something like that. Because usually when Nicolas Cage does a movie, he'll be like, yeah, I'll do your movie. But I'm going to wear an eye patch and I'm going to walk with a limp and I'm going to have a Jamaican accent. (laughs) And they have to go, okay, Nicolas Cage, you'll be in our movie. Sounds good. (laughs) And he was just Dracula in this, basically. He was a vampire. Yeah. So, yeah, it was it was good. I enjoyed it. It was surprisingly well done. Nicolas Cage has been bringing out a lot of movies lately, actually. Well, that's what I mean. Like, it'll be like, I'll be in your movie, but I'm not going to say any lines. I'll just be the silent protagonist and I won't say anything. Yeah. That's basically how he does his roles where he'll be like, yeah, okay, I'll do it. But like, yeah, like I said, I'm going to do this, that and the other thing if you want me in your movie and they go, okay. (laughs) (laughs) So he also probably needs some money. (laughs) <laughs> because he probably is still paying uh, Lisa Marie Presley uh, like alimony because they were married. No, not Lisa Marie. Oh, no, she died. So, Did she? Yeah, I think Lisa Marie died. Huh. Yeah, because they were married. And I'm sure he's got other wives he has to pay for and stuff. Like when you're a star of that size, like Johnny Cage or Nicholas Johnny Cage, <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Depp or Nicholas Cage. Yeah, yeah. Your, like, lifestyle creep is so huge. It's like, oh, I got my bill for my, like, Johnny Depp. Like, I spend $50,000 a month on wine? Jeez, I better do another four more Pirates of the Caribbean movies. <laughs> right. So, he'll, you know, he'll just take the paycheck, you know? He did six movies in 2017. Yeah. I he mean, did five things in 2018. I yeah. mean, he did Mandy, Looking Glass, 2011, Between Worlds. Uh, mm-hmm. and then he did a voice in, in like he uh, did Teen a movie Titans where he was Spider-Man. killing people to find his pig. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that was Mandy. I think that was Mandy. And then yeah. uh, he did six things in 2019. Yeah. He does a lot every year, yeah. but I'm just, I mean, so what? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean the quality is good or anything. In fact, I would argue that the more you do, the quality goes down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, I would recommend it. 
The only other thing I watched was I found that on YouTube, every episode of To Serve and Protect is available. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. To Serve and Protect is cops in Canada, basically. Yeah, it's what uh, You Are Under Arrest is based off of. Yeah, they basically took episodes of To Serve and Protect and, like, cut them down to 30 minutes. Yeah. Because there's a lot of weird stuff in To Serve and Protect where it's like, wow, why are they showing this, like, them training a police dog? <laughs> like, what's going on with this? They also... there. There's one episode of that they... And they didn't censor this. There's one episode on... Uh, the hell was it to serve and protect no under yeah. arrest yeah under arrest mm-hmm. right on netflix the guy cuts his own testicle off with, it's censored it, is it, it censored because it's you can, blurred but you can tell you it's can some guy's tell nut it's some guy's nut and there's yeah. like stuff hanging down and there's like, blood oh and my shit god yeah i don't think it's censored enough. it is it is it is it is it's censored it's, it's censored. not censored enough. i've watched if it it's twice. censored it's, it's not censored, censored i watched it twice dude it's, it's not censored. censored enough it needs no, it's not censoring. censored enough. You can tell, like, it's a bloody testicle. You can totally tell. But that's just the, the, the guys laying there bleeding, and they're like, yeah, he cut off his balls with a rusty can lid he found in this lot. And the cops are, like, trying to... They're using a stick trying to get the <laughs> nut into, like, a paper bag. It's pretty crazy. I haven't come across that episode on, to serve and protect oh, man. yet. I gotta, uh, I gotta, if, if those are on YouTube, I'm going to start watching them. Yeah, dude. Good. Well, I was like... I don't know how it got recommended to me, but... It's the production company that owns all this shit called Film Rise. Mm-hmm. They own Forensic Files. They own Unsolved Mysteries. They own this. And they're all on Amazon, mostly, like Forensic Files and shit. But they're also all on YouTube, like legitimately <laughs> through Film Rise. Wow. So you can watch every episode of Unsolved Mysteries, Forensic Files, um, To Serve and Protect, all sorts of shit on there. And they have full movies and shit on there. It's crazy. Wow. Um, so there's all the seasons of serve and protect and it's hilarious. They don't edit really anything out of that show because the, no. the, the cops will pull up and the cop, the cameras come out and all these drunk people will be like, Hey, hey we're on to serve and protect. All <laughs> right. <laughs> this is pretty cool. But it's all, if you watch it, it's crazy watching it. I think as an American, because you'll be like, wow. They didn't shoot anybody. They never pulled their guns out or anything. Right. And the cops are just like getting in a fist fight with the guy. Like, get in the car. <laughs> it's pretty I, crazy. I, I like watching that show. Well, mm-hmm. you know, I'll, I'll watch the Serve and Protect on YouTube some more. Yeah. Because that sounds great. Oh, yeah. But, it's uh, super just, great. Just watching what is on Netflix. I'm like, oh, I've been there. I've been there. I've oh, been yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll be okay, like, that's where, are they, where are they at? Oh, they're like, you know, they're on Robson Street or yeah. like. You know, it's pretty funny. They'll be like, hey, where are you from, sir? Oh, I'm from Kamloops. <laughs> what are you doing down here buying prostitutes? Oh, well, I was my friend. I was <laughs> <laughs> There's one where they, they showed they showed a clip where it was very close to here. There was a drowning at a lake. I don't know if it was like Paul Lake or, oh, or something like that. Oh, yeah. They pulled the body out. Yeah, yeah. It was real close to here. I was like, oh, hey, that's yeah, real yeah, close yeah. to here. I, I watched that episode. Um, yeah, it's interesting anyways. <laughs> it's a nice slice of like... Like mid '90s Canada, basically. Yeah. So the I would mustaches recommend it. Are great. Derek Cook is there. Derek Cook, best legend. cop ever, absolute <laughs> legend. So I would recommend it. There's a lot of like you can see, it's a different era. Yeah, for sure. With some of this, the way they do things and everything, but yeah, very interesting. And there's no like everyone's like, you know, they'll be like, oh, what's this, sir? It's like, oh, you have three grams of marijuana. Well, now you're under arrest for having three grams of marijuana. It's like, wow, (laughs) times have changed, dude. Yeah. So, um, but that is basically all I watched. 